Jonathan, good to see you again, man. How are you? Jake, what's up, man? You right? Dude, miss you. Love you. Congratulations on this, man. <laughs> it's, seriously, it's fantastic. Um, I'm going to jump into this. Obviously, uh, Jesse wasn't around for you to ask questions of and learn from, but I was wondering if you could just for a moment imagine sitting in a movie theater with him, watching Devotion, and when it's over, you lean over and you ask him, what did you think about how I did this? What is the aspect of your performance that you would love to get his thoughts on? Oh, man, I would just, I don't know. I would say, uh, you know, did you feel like you were that funny? You know, <laughs> did, did we capture your, your sense of humor, you know, properly? Uh, that's something his family always talk about, you know, that he had a, a very keen sense of humor. You know, it was quite uh, uh, specific. You know, and so uh, that was something, you know, outside of the book, outside of the war hero, um, you know, that's something I was really interested in, in, in touching on. And so, uh, yeah, I'd ask him that, you know, is that, is that the humor or not? You know, let me know. I love that. Well, well speaking of, of, of a sense of humor, I, you know, I, I love hearing the stories um, about actors in Star Wars who admit that they couldn't help but make the sound effects. So many actors have admitted that when they're shooting the aerial fights, they do all of the sound effects that we used to make when we were kids and playing around. How difficult is it as an actor when you're shooting these scenes not to revert back to eight-year-old you and make all of those fun sound effects that we used to make growing up? Well, I, I'll say this. Uh, when you are actually in a plane, mm -hmm. there's so much going on, you are literally just, uh, you know, mm -hmm. you know, it, there is that, uh, uh, you know, like, like, but that's quite natural, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. uh, but uh, the, the plane is given a lot of feedback. So, you know, you're really in it, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's like, you know, yeah, you're really in it. So uh, I, I would say it's not that difficult, you know, because it's really going on, you know, it's really going on. <laughs> To your point, I've had the, the pleasure of a reporter here in Chicago getting to go up in stunt planes and F-16s and mm -hmm. stuff, and, and and you get mic'd up, and you don't realize the sounds that you're making until you go yeah. back, and and then you go, oh, did I really make that? that did my body make that sound whenever it's we... Quite, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> mm, you know, yeah. and then sometimes the body starts coming up, and you shove it back down. You know, uh, that's very real. Uh, yeah. That's part of it. Yeah, I love that. Um, you probably don't remember this, but you and I actually ran into each other a few weeks ago. Uh, you walked into a, a sushi restaurant in Chicago. I was sitting by the door with my buddies. We were so yeah, excited. You, you couldn't have been nicer. You took a photo with us. You talked with us for a second. And yeah. after that moment, um, we, we said, you know, that's that's probably going to happen to him a lot. Thinking about the year you have ahead with this film, with Creed, with Kang becoming a bigger part of the MCU. Is there a part of you that's gearing up for that kind of moment to happen more often? Are you ready for your life to change in that way? You know, I, I think the career is the career is growing and the career is going to change. But uh, you know, I, my life is the same. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I I intend to continue to go to uh, sushi restaurants by myself or you know with my family or with my team. And if uh, a handsome gentleman and his uh, friends want to take a picture, I'm I'm more than down to to, to take that. And if they want to send sake afterwards, appreciate you. Uh, uh, I remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> you did remember uh, that. I appreciate you. Know, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm more than happy for it. You know, that's that's the beautiful thing about being an artist. You know, like I, I make work for, you know, the proletariat. You know, and and intend to always be a part of the the, the proletariat, the working class. You know, that's how mm -hmm. I grew up. That's how I, you know, make the work I, I make. You know, so uh, I love the homies. It's about the homies. You know, so nah, I'm. I, the career changing and, and having more space to you know work my art, as my mentor says to me all the time, work your art is very exciting, you know, and that I would take as far as I can take it, you know. But the life, you know, I'll say this and I'll conclude. Uh, a very um, seasoned actor once said to me, uh, we were on, uh, we were just, we were, again sitting out at some pizza joint, and uh, mm -hmm. he said to me, "My wish for you is to have an ordinary life, and an extraordinary career, because you can't have both." You know, there's balance. You can't have both. And uh, I wish that for myself, and I wish that for any uh, artist, young or old, that's uh, making that way. Well, I wish that for you, man. It's nothing short of an honor to be able to just see your career grow and your just your work evolve as an actor. You're phenomenal on behalf of myself and my friends, Carly and Eric. Dude, we we appreciate you being so kind to us that night, and it's always never never short of an honor to be able to speak with you, man. Seriously, I appreciate your time. 
Look at Carly and Eric. Thank you too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell. I'm still in this video, man. I appreciate you. I see the bit. Bye, buddy. See you soon. Peace. Oh, we're going. We don't need roads.